Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we're getting it all in, it's Kooky. Now this was developed by Roshan Naushad, uh, published by Red Deer Games and is available usually for £8.39 but is on sale this week for a mega £2.9 slash $2.49. So this is one of those hidden puzzle games, but it's not random, and it's actually quite fun. Kind of like Where's Wally, but without the Wally. Or, sorry, Waldo. For some reason, changing the name in the lands of the Americas right there. Uh, but what you are going to be doing for 13 levels is basically finding what are called the silly ones. That's basically just little drawings that are either odd or seem out of place. It would be fun to do legit, but I am here to help you get everything quick af. So it's the same for the achievements too, all we need to do is basically complete all 13 levels and comprende por favor, 1000 gamer score is yours again, eh? Yes! So you are looking at around 25 to 30 minutes to complete this, so with that being said then, let's begin. Let's do it! Now, obviously what I am going to be doing is just telling you uh, each location, so you're basically going to be on a map and you're going to be uh, looking for these quote unquote silly ones. So I'll obviously won't have many times for jokes and hilarious things. I'll be telling you where everything is to get this game out of the way quick. So we press A to start. We're going to press the B button here to skip. Uh, we, we don't really, excuse me, we don't really need the uh, tutorial. But we are going to have to complete everything. So let's go with the fishing boat first of all. So you press A and it is left stick to move and the right bumper or left bumper to zoom out and zoom in. So left bumper to zoom out, right bumper to zoom in. Um, so as you can see there, left stick to move the map, and of course A to interact with things. So there we go, first of all then, just to the left of the boat, click on this duck or whatever it is in a cup. Next, go to the right, click on the bear. Then just go to the right again, click on this uh, thing right here on the boat, go up and click on the flag. With the arm sticking out, go down, click on the fishing rod, and that will be all five. So that's pretty much, th that is pretty much it throughout the entirety of the game. Um, obviously, the more levels that we do, you're going to have to look for 20, 25, 30, etc. So it does get slightly more complicated a little bit later on, but it's nothing too bad because I'll be telling you exactly where to go. So next up then is the treehouse. Again, we're only having to find five. So once you're ready, let's do this. Let's do it. So, first up then, what we are going to do, normally I would like to, I normally start at the top of the map and then go down, so interact with the man on the moon, go to the right, interact with the giraffe sticking out of the roof, then to the right, the bird on the tree, go down and interact with the boy hanging off the swing, and just to the left is a llama or something, and that's all five of those done as well, so uh, yeah, nice and slicey and easy and cheesy right now. But we are going to get into the more complicated stuff. Well, ah, again, it's not really too complicated, but it is, you know, things are going to start getting... We're going to have to look for more is basically what I'm just trying to get at there. So, on to farm. On to farm. And first of all, once we are ready to go, we are going to head top right and interact with the sun, the snake on the sun. Go down to the left, interact with this thing just next to the windmill. Go down again, interact with the hedgehog on the windmill. Then go down and we are going to interact with uh, the bees or the thing that's in the middle of the bees. Then if you go down to the left, you can interact with the uh, rabbit or the, that's not a rabbit. And then the rabbit's hat. So two right there. Then go slightly to the right, interact with that rabbit. Then to the right again, interact with the farmer's hat. Go to the right again and just interact with the thing next to the posing yoga. Then to the right, interact with the sheep, lawn mowing, and that is all ten. So, yep, nice and easy. Now, what I should also say is as well, once you have actually located something, you could probably see the plus one next to it. That obviously means that you have found something. So, if uh, for, for whatever particular reason, you've managed to miss something which you didn't see on screen, and you've gone through it again, obviously you'll know what you've collected and what you haven't. So that come, that very much comes in handy. So, onto the underwater level then. And first of all, we are going to go up left and interact with the, uh, the surfboarding dude. Then to the right and interact with this flying broski. Then head down to the right and interact with the thing on the whale. Sorry, my screen is quite small so I can't see. Uh, too often. <laughs> so head all the way to the left, interact with the crab or whatever that is just by the castle, then go down and interact with the next item. 
Head to the left and it's just in the window right there. Go down and then interact with this thing just out of the window. To the right and interact with the balloon. Then interact with the right again and interact with the diving whatever that is. Go down and interact with this thing just next to, just to the left of this plant. And if we go up to the right, you can interact with the diving, with the diver, with, with what's in his hand and his shoe as well. To the right again, just to the right of this plant, interact with the flower. Then interact with the TV to the right of that. And then just interact with this flower again, just at the bottom right there. And that's all 15 out of 15. So again, I do apologize that yes, this does go quite quickly and I <laughs> hopefully it's going well so far. Obviously, if it is going too quick, um, obviously... It's obviously worth doing just um, slowing the YouTube video down, so, um, you know, it's a little bit easier for you. Um, but if not, we're all good. So, again, I apologise, but it, it is one of those games that it is quite quick. So, on to the next one then. So, this one can take a little bit of time. So, we're going to head straight up, and then we're going to first interact with the uh, boy without a bike. So, interact with the front wheel missing. Then, if we go down, we can interact with the alien in a dress. Then we're going to head slightly down, and now we're going to interact with the boy with the hammer. Go down again slightly, interact with the guy on the bike. And also go down again, and we're going to interact with the water fountain. From here, we can go to the right and interact with this thing on the donut stand. Then right again, and we're going to interact with this thing on the clothesline. Go um, slightly left, and you can still see the obvious stalk. So stalk him up. Not literally. Interact with the guy in the burger van. The guy's hat, anyway. Then go to the left and interact with the upside-down umbrella with some flowers sticking out of it. Down again, interact with the guy's helmet on the bike. And then from here, we can go to the right and we can interact with the sheep. Sheep's head, anyway. At least. From here, go up and then interact with this old Doris's, uh, old Dia's bike. And then go up and interact with the Marge Simpson hairdo. And then go up again, and we're going to interact with the plants, so the plant sign, the plants just on top, just above the plant sign right there. And that is all 15 out of 15, that's a good cheeky 73 secomondrios done. 73 secomondrios. So, uh, yeah, going well. How's everyone doing? Yeah, good? Looking hot? Feeling hot? <laughs> that's where we lag. Right, next up then, we need to find 20 now in the ski level. Broski, Chuski, Munski. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to take a little swig of water. Right, so first of all, we're going to head top right and find the penguin chilling on his own up on the mountains. From here, we can go uh, slightly left uh, down, so slightly left and down and interact with the uh, paraglider. Then just to the left of that is the snowboarders. It's to the left of that again, just by the tents. In the middle is that guy. Interact with... Just in between the igloo and tent, uh, we'll interact with that. Go down and interact with this thing, just by the igloo as well. And then on the hockey pitch, interact with the left side player. And the uh, thing just in between the two other players. So, slightly down, interact with this sheep thing. Go to the right and interact with the one seat, snow sneak thing. Go down and interact with the next one. And then if we head left, we can interact with the... Uh, keep going left, sorry. We can interact with this llama thing, guy in a llama. Head to the left again, interact with the ice hole. Go down and left and find the monster chilling in the trees. Uh, head to the right. And then what we're going to see is the... Uh, click on the third kid on the left. Then go down and interact with this snowplow thing. Head then just to the right of the fondue machine, interact with the kid. Then to the right of that, just interact with the ostrich or whatever that is. Head up. And we are going to interact with... Um, all the way sort of up uh, the skier. I've just got one more to grab, so go to the left. And all the way through, through the trees, and it's the guy chilling in the ice bath or uh, hot bath or whatever. So again, I, I, I do apologize if, uh, because it's one of those that sometimes you've got to be quite quick, that my commentary is kind of delayed as to what's going on in screen. So I do apologize if um, it's... Helpful slash not that helpful, but <laughs> I am trying. It's just going so quick. So, on to the next one anyway. And here we go. Swimming pool time. Right. First of all, then, we're going to interact with... Um, don't worry, this is as small as the uh, thing gets. The um, Interact with the screen or the window screen. Then to the left of that, interact with the lady uh, who is in a shower, who shouldn't be. To the right, interact with the barbecue guy. 
and then go up and interact with the flowers or whatever they are. Go to the right and interact with this thing just by the lockers. It's a morgue locker. Go down, interact with this guy with a javelin. And to the right of that, we're going to interact with the guy sitting down on the bench. To the left, interact with the woman sitting standing on the chair. Then up, guy with the balloon. And then shark boy as well. Go to the left and interact with the guy parasailing down a water slide. To the left, guy chucking rubbish in the pool. Go down, guy on a jet ski. <laughs> then interact with the woman swimming. And then the shark. And then the guy lying underneath on a paddle, and the dog. And then we can go up, guy, <laughs> kids coming out of the uh, tube. Then just to the right of that, and the next lane is that thing. And then we can interact with the kid on the skateboard to the right of that. And that is all 20 out of 20. <gasps> oh boy, I need arms drink. Onto the zoo, zoo, hello Mr. Zoo, shining down, right, sorry, kid song stuck on my head again, damn kids. Right, so from the zoo, what we're going to do is head again, usually at the top, that's where I like to start, and interact with the plane. Then from here, what we're going to do is head slightly down and interact with the kid on the swing. From here, go to the left, interact with the uh, broski in a car ski. And then interact with the kangaroo, just chilling right there, or dinosaur, or whatever. Interact with the baby in a pram, or is that a pram? No, penguin on a bench. My eyes, man. Interact with the thing in the zoo to the right of the tiger, with the penguin hiding behind. Then interact with the tent in the middle of the screen. Then head up, and there's something just on the tree right there, so make sure to grab that one as well. Then interact with the lady walking down the path, and just slightly to the right of that, there is a snake coming out of a tree, which we're going to interact with. Head up to the right and interact with the bird out of the tree, or mouse, or something. Go up onto the mountain, and there is one skiing mouse or whatever. Head down and interact with the third monkey on the right. And then we can head down, and we're going to interact with the uh, woman, with the whatever that is in her hand, and the guy in the pool. Slightly to the right of that, literally to the right of it, interact with the monkey, or whatever that is. And then go down next to the umbrella stand, just underneath the umbrella stand, is a bat. Now we can interact with the zoo, which has a J in it, which spells Jew. And now we can interact with the thing on the bike. Go to the left and interact with the tree. There's a uh, little something in the tree. And then we can interact with the spotty zebra uh, in the zoo. Interact with the person who is being walked like a dog. That's funny. Then we can interact with the mouse on the elephant in the left. And then go left again to interact with the octopus or whatever that is on the head. And then interact with the thing on the giraffe's head. And that is Mr. Zoo, Zoo, Mr. Golden Zoo, all done. So, getting through it, only, uh, only about 12 minutes left. We're getting through it just fan, just fan. Uh, but next up is going to be... Da, 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 it's beach time, baby. Everyone's favourite, because everyone's fed up of winter now, so uh, the beach is... Uh, the summer and the beach couldn't come fast enough, could it? Right, so let us go once again. So again, as usual, I like to start off at the top, just to make things easier. And we're going to interact with this person lying in the road. Go to the right and interact with the bike, or whatever that is, just by the car. And then go to the right again and interact with the elephant out of the window. So from here then, we are going to go down, and we're going to interact with the person sitting down. Or whatever it's eating. Head slightly down to the left, interact with the person in the bathtub. And then from here, we are going to go all the way to the left and interact with the person on the horse. Then we are going to go slightly right again and interact with the snake uh, sunbathing or whatever that is, gecko or whatever. Go to the right and have a look at this thing. And that is another one. Head slightly down and interact with the tree. That one is very easily missable. Uh, have a look uh, down again just by the water. There is that thing flying a balloon or something. Uh, have a look at the guy just by the umbrella and actually on the lifeguard stand as well. Slightly to the left, interact with this guy. And slightly to the left again, interact with the baseball bat that the kid's holding. Go to the left again, interact with the kid just by the palm tree. And then down, we're going to interact with the guy sleeping by the lighthouse for some reason. Because he can. Why not? Life is worth living. Go down, interact with this person in the boat on the left-hand side. And then the one in the middle. 
which is the person on the left. Head up, interact with Mermaid, just chilling. And then from here, we can go to the right, interact with the polar bear. Right again, interact with the whatever that is surfing. And then we can interact with the guy here hanging onto a balloon. Head underwater to find some legendary weightlifting guy. And then head to the left to interact with the thing just to the right of the octopus. And last but not least, looking at the palm tree. Bam! 25 out of 25. Done. And that is getting, this is getting pretty kooky now. My my throat is drier than a nun's, well, you know, beach house. Ah, okay, there we go. Now my mouth is as moist as a, uh, um, well, moist thing on uh, moist day. The moist maker. Right, on to the next level then. Getting through it, as I said. So, first of all then, what we are going to do is, first, we're going to interact with this thing in the t t t guy flying, or whatever he is, top left corner. Head down and interact with the guy sleeping on the roof, uh, on a bed, and then we can head down and interact with the clock, in the sort of second building. Uh, head to the right, and we can interact with the guy uh, dive boarding in the, from the window. To the right again, and we can interact with the bird in the cage. And then what we can do is go down slightly and then interact with the rain cloud person. Go slight, literally to the left, there is a thing hanging off the light switch, and have a look at the thing, a baby in the oven. A baby in the oven, damn it! Go to the left, interact with the um, bookcase, neck to the left of the bookcase. So it's not the actual bookcase, but it's to the left of the bookcase. Then go down a floor, to all the way to the right to interact with the woman. Then interact with the banner on the left hand side, and the person having a shower. Go to the left, make sure to grab the skeleton, I missed that one, so I'll do that one last apparently, but there was a skeleton just there, but going all the way to the left, there's also a guy in a coffin, just to the left room as well, there's one in the mirror and a polar bear taking a bath and a shower again, because why not? Down the floor, interact with the fridge, go to the right slightly and then interact with the cooker, go to the right again, all the way to the right, just to the penultimate room and interact with the guy with the birthday party bro, with the chainsaw, a guy outside walking his dog, Birds on the wall with a Santa hat on. Go down and interact with uh, this thing on the slide. And then to the left, uh, the guy with the flowers engaging, uh, getting proposed to his wife. Then to the left with the giraffe balloon. To the left again, interact with the thing just by the unicorn. In fact, it is the unicorn itself. Excuse me. And as I said, for the last one, which I did actually miss, it's in the house. It's actually a skeleton. So it's on the uh, second to last floor, there it is, just in the penultimate, penultimate room, was the Skeletonioni. Ah. <sighs> right, okay. Sorry, st starting to lose my voice a bit now. Starting to sound like my 33-year-old uh, uh, self. Old, hip replacement needed soon. Right, so, onto the carnival. Spot 25 silly ones in 200 seconds. Okay, if we must for achievements, we will. Right, as usual, we're going to start up the top left. Guy hanging off an anchor on a hot air balloon. Because why? Because we can. Head all the way to the right, and we're going to interact with this uh, broski on the mountains. Head down, and we're going to interact with this chicken or whatever that is on the farmland. Go literally to the left and interact with the person roller skating. Then go to the left again, interact with the drum set, brah. Drum set, brah. Go to the left again, interact with uh, this... Uh, shower in dude right next to the sign then to the right interact with the uh, line coming off the swings to the right interact with the dog and then to the right again interact with the swinging elephant go slightly to the left and you're gonna see just next to the weightlifter is another person there interact with this person on the roller coaster as well and then go to the right and interact with da -da -da -da, this guy or this guy with the pipe Slightly down, interact with that person, go to the left, interact with the thing on the dodgems, go to the left again, interact with this thing just next to the tree, to the left again, interact with some more flowers, and then head down and into this little stand, go to the right, interact with the, uh, just to the right of the circus is going to be this, um, this guy juggling, then down, interact with this guy and his uh, rake, Sideshow Bob style, go to the left, interact with the that thing. And now what you're going to see uh, all the way to the left is someone drowning underwater, which is not really good. Or polar bear, whatever that is. Then head down to the right and we're going to interact with this giraffe just chilling in a box. And then down, interact with the square wheel. And then head left. Now there is like an elephant or a monkey or something in one of these windows. 
So that is exactly who we're trying to go for. There it is. So that's what you're going to need. So once you've done that one, head down and interact with this tiny little wee elephant thing. And then that is done. And again, I know I've said a lot of stuff wrong in terms of what the actual item is. But as I'm recording, my screen is a lot smaller than when I actually played it. So I'm trying to go off that. And apparently, once you hit your 30s, your eyesight, your hips, your back, your crack, your sack, it all goes to hell. So, um, you know, just in case you were wondering. Right, now we've got to spot 30 little silly willy ones. Wee willy winkies in 30, 200 seconds. Right, so let's go for it then. Again, top left is what we're going to go for. And we're going to get the aeroplane wings first. Now, the guy literally next to left, just to the left of the big aeroplane, that's who we need to interact with. If it doesn't seem to work like it didn't for me, zoom in and then zoom back out and you should be able to click on him. There we go. Now interact with the person in the actual window itself. Then on the plane's wing, interact with that. Go up, interact with the thing just underneath the plane and then the aerial on top of the plane. Then to the right, into this sort of uh, room area, in interact with that thing just by the exit sign and the football players. Go down and interact with the person sitting on the bench. And then from here, we can go down, again slightly to the left, interact with the person in the hammock. Down again, person in the wheelbarrow. To the left of that, we're going to interact with the canoe on the conveyor belt and an item just two to the right of that and some flowers or whatever that is as well. And to the left of that guy as well. And to the left of that, so there should be five items on the conveyor belt. Go down on top of the donut stand. And to the right on the coffee stand is a boy. For some reason, head down and sitting on the table. Well, just to this table here, just right next to the coffee stand. That's another person. Go to the right, interact with the dog sledder. And down from there, we're going to interact with this thing. And then we're going to go up and just interact with whatever the hell that is. Go up again, interact with what looks like a witch or something. To the right, interact with the thing next to the bench. And then we're going to head up, interact with these two people here. And then up again, interact with these clothes or whatever that's supposed to be, which you can't see. And then we're going to head all the way down. And we can interact with this thing just next to the benches. To the left, interact with this tree, flower, domey dome. No, not that one, sorry. It's, it's the post. Sorry, that's what we're trying to interact with, the post. And then the guy blocking the entrance. And then to the left, on the next conveyor belt, is the second item and we've just got one more level left to crack along with we don't actually have to do the um oh in fact no it is the last level sorry yeah so train station yeah train station that's exactly what we got to do sorry i thought i was one ahead of myself there so only 25 silly willy little wee willy winky ones left to do so you know let's do this tang dog and this is a nice easy one to finish off. So again, as usual, start in the top left-hand corner to find a guy on top of a train. And then if we head right, we're going to see a bus stop as well on the train tracks. And then from here, uh, go to the right and see the person lying down. Go all the way down and you're going to see what looks like just extra bushes. There's a person behind a bush. Go to the right, John Cena style, and see the person taped up to a train. To the left, uh, have a look at the person in the actual window. You have to click on his head. Go down, interact with the thing just in between the suitcases. To the left, guy in the window. To the left again, it's another little person in the window. And then we interact with the timetable board, 13.09 a.m. That makes all the sense. And then interact with the people, or the third person specifically. To the left, interact with the, the uh, upside down person on the train station sign. Go down, interact with the person on, just to the left. And then just in front of the store, the hot dog stand. Interact with this person here sitting down. And then to the coffee stand, interact with that. Go to the right and interact with the person just going into the uh, ticket thing and interact just by the ticket machine is a duck or something. Head to the right, interact with the cow just underneath the escalator and then go down. Interact with the uh, whatever that is and then go to the left, interact with the person. Go to the left again, interact with the person on the right behind the ticket booth. Go to the left, interact with the bookcase. And then go to the left, interact with the crown queen. And finally, but not last but not least, polar bear in bus. And that is Cookie. And that is Cookie all done. So there we go, then, guys and gals. Uh, again, I do hope that this... I uh, hope, hope you enjoyed the game. I do hope that the guide helped as well on that. I sort of didn't go too fast, even though we sort of had to go fast in some of them. Anyway, either way, I do hope it helps. So thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And, uh, well, I see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.